Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo and today we're opening up what I think is probably the best quality Air Jordan 1 that I've ever seen. So here's the box. If you know what you're looking at, you know what we're going to talk about today. You probably also saw it in the thumbnail. But before we get into it, make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't yet. Click the subscribe button uh, and click the thumbs up button and leave a comment if you have a question. Those things all do a lot of help for us and if you're enjoying our content then please do do those things it goes a long way so jumping right into it take a look at this box this is a white air jordan 1 box it has that nike sportswear style uh, on it but instead of being the classic uh black and red that we get with the jordan 1 box this one is a all white box with a metallic nike on it can you see it reflecting look at that the label says USA 10.5 uh, and it says Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG. So it's actually a women's release. This is a women's colorway, but it's also an OG colorway from 1985. And we'll talk about that in a while. First, let's open it up. This is the Air Jordan 1 2021 in metallic purple so I opened that box up for effect but as you can see the sneakers are laced already which means that I've already taken this out and had a look at it um, which you know you want me to do so I can give a good review so this is a women's release this time around which explains the size 10.5 uh, women's that we got it in and this pair was sent to me by Nike this is what they had uh, to send over and they do fit me so I am able to wear half a size down and sometimes half a size up for all of my retro footwear and the way that you translate sizing between men's and women's uh, US sizing at least is that you go one and a half sizes up so if you're a size 9 in men's then you can go up one and a half sizes get a size 10.5 women's and that will be the same as a size 9.5 men's um, there are a few differences it is a little bit narrower with the air jordan one sometimes this jordan uh, wings logo is a little bit smaller but they're super minor and again all feet are different so it it's not a matter of men and women really it's just a matter of what fits your foot i've actually told the guys over at nike that i like women's sneakers those who've been following a while know that I believe in that. Like, I think you should wear sneakers that you like. And I happen to like a lot of women's sneakers. This particular colorway, though, is a classic OG colorway. Um, in 1985, I think into 1986, when the Air Jordan 1 came out, they came out with a number of uh, releases that were kind of in this theme. They didn't call them packs back then, uh, but we call it a pack now. You had a metallic red, a metallic uh, black that may have been a sample. The most popular one was a metallic blue, which came in high and low. You had a orange, there was a green. They retro this back in 2009, but I would say that this is the first like legitimate real retro uh, because they, they did it more or less in the same style. They made a few changes and we'll go into that as we talk about the shoe. Um, on the 2009 retro, there was a jump man on the back. This one does not have a jump man on the back. This is a true retro high OG um, with the Jordan and with the Nike Air on the tongue tab. Now the tongue tab on the previous pair in the 2009 pair had a jump man. Um, and this really is a lot cleaner of a finish. The outsole is a standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. Purple in this case very nice that the color of the purple is just slightly lighter than the metallic purple on the swoosh and on the collar of the sneaker um, this color blocking is an og color blocking as this is an og um, colorway which means that you have the primarily white uh upper for the entire thing and then only the color and the swoosh and the outsole are a different color now with all air jordan ones they use a cup sole with an encapsulated air unit uh, in the heel and you usually reaching about midway in the foot there's also a wedge of foam in there and that creates all of the comfort um, that the sneaker has maybe all the comfort that you need it depends on you from experience air jordan ones are not the most comfortable shoes 
but people love to wear them and you can wear them kind of as a standard all day beater shoe. Other differences that separate this from the OG actually from the original release of this from 1985 are first the satin interior. So you can see here that the inside liner of the shoe is all satin as well as the back of the tongue are all done up in this satin purple that used to be a standard um what was that it's like a mesh that's on that's on most air jordan ones uh this is done in a satin in you know as it is a women's colorway it's a change but i'm not complaining because it really feels nice on your foot uh it is kind of an upgrade add some luxury to the shoe and another way that they added luxury is this all leather tongue generally speaking i don't like leather tongues on jordan ones it just doesn't have that og look i make an exception for this shoe because the leather on this sneaker especially on the tongue is super supple super nice look at that it's so soft and buttery the combination of this nice leather on the tongue with that satin on the other side really feels nice on your foot and then on top of that the leather of this entire sneaker is insane like i don't think i've seen a leather this nice on any air jordan one ever like look at that it is amazing beautiful beautiful supple buttery mm. and it is a fully leather build you can see how nice the the finishing is on all of it and how soft it is going around i would even go so far as to say that this is better quality leather than on the shattered backboards which everybody talks about being great leather this is better leather this is without question the best leather i've seen on a jordan one this is like custom style custom level bespoke leather and i think it's really great that they're doing this on the women's colorways i would really like to see them do this more on the women's colorways moving forward and maybe that can be one of the things that really differentiates the the women's colorways is that they're like heavily lifestyle and uh premium premium uh footwear the metallic leather on the swoosh and on the collar honestly it, it doesn't come off like a metallic like when i opened it i didn't think that this is what i would call metallic uh, it's it's a little bit dull it's a little bit dark but from what i see from pictures this is really the way it was in 85 so i like that i appreciate that it is a bit more wearable honestly like if this was too much of a metallic like cocktail dress uh club metallic purple i'm not sure if i'd want to wear it but this one it's clean this looks more like the helmet of like the baltimore ravens or something like that and i like that i do like that a lot it is a nice purple and a nice leather so they come with these white laces already in that first uh, lace hole but it also comes with a set of purple laces if that's what you want to put in there if you are thinking of picking up this sneaker go for it you might not be able to find it for retail anymore it did come out a couple months ago now or a bit more than a month ago it, but it's not expensive on resale either i don't know if that's because it's a women's sneaker or they just made enough or whatever whatever the case that is a good thing if your sneaker is available to buy like don't buy into the hype buy the sneakers you like and buy sneakers that are good quality and again this is like some bespoke custom quality this is the best air jordan one quality i've ever seen on any air jordan one sneaker maybe any nike sneaker ever it's amazing and to compare let's take a look at a couple other sneakers this is my jordan one new york to paris sb it's one of the first videos that we ever did on this channel as you can see i've already distressed them i used some acetone uh so what i did with this sneaker was that i wore it a bit before i used the acetone on it and so that gave me kind of cues of where my foot actually flexed a sneaker and so it made a very true weathering of like where my foot hit the other foot and where it flexed and that's what i wanted this is made of just okay leather it is genuine leather it is a nice sneaker but because they had to put the paint on top of the shoe it the leather doesn't come off as like super smooth or anything and you can see like side by side how much smoother this one is versus the new york to sb uh, the new york to paris and side by side you can really see how much more luxurious 
the leather is on this pair. Now, this is a hype pair that is in demand. Um, it didn't have super resale prices when it first came out. Um, and then now that there's some each to it, it has retained a lot of its uh, a lot of its resale quality. Now, you do have some really nice leather around the collar here, which this uh, doesn't have. To, it's kind of a sacrifice that you make to get this PU coated metallic purple. But all of the other leather on the metallic purple pair is so much nicer. Like, it's head and shoulders above it. And then we have the Tokyo Biohack pair as well, right? Which, if you remember, I really like the suede on this. And while it's not the same thing, this one is uh, like short hair suede versus the leather here on the metallic purples, you can really see that, okay, this, this when you touch it, it's just another level. Um, when we did the review of this one, I did have some questions of whether or not all of the leather was authentic leather. Like this section definitely is. The overlays definitely are, but the under panels, I was not so sure. The toe cap, I'm not 100% sure. Um, if they are using fake leathers, then, then they've done a really good job at it. But this was the best leather, I think, on the entire sneaker here on the here in the wings of the sneaker. And on this one, there's just no question. Like on the metallic purple, all of the leather is beautiful. Okay, for sizing, if you wear Air Jordan 1s, wear your true size, which is for me that size 9.5. If you need to get a women's size and you are 9.5 remember it's plus 1.5 which brings you up to 11. me i have some wiggle room whether it's size 9 9.5 or 10 because i am a true 9.5 that means that the adjustment is just a matter of millimeters um, between going down half a size and going up half a size if you are okay with that this is a good pair to buy um, half a size down. Sometimes you actually want your sneaker to be really snug right up against your foot because it flexes in all the right places. It won't be a concern with this sneaker because the leather is such good quality and so supple. And so that's it for our review of the Air Jordan uh, 1, the women's Air Jordan 1 high OG in the metallic purple colorway. What do you think of the changes that they made in the sneaker? What do you think of that leather tongue, the satin inside, and, and the, the really nice luxe materials? Uh, I'd like to know your, your thoughts on whether or not we should have these on men's sneakers, um, or if this is kind of a nice differentiating factor to like have, you know, have a women first uh, approach to these sneakers. And we know that the, you know, there's an extra layer of luxury and you know style that's added when it is a women's first colorway i would love to know your thoughts on that if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and follow along on instagram i'm at ko caution instagram follow at adjumamag on instagram and follow at honeycomb manila ditch our studio in double dragon plaza subscribe if you haven't yet it goes a long way for us all right i wish you guys good luck i wish you guys good health peace